Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have another unboxing for you today. It is the Goddess Spirit Oracle Deck by Rachel Johnson. It is put out by uh, Blue Angel. 44 cards, 72 page uh, guidebook. I got it on uh, magic.com. It looks like an amazing deck. I've had my eye on this deck for quite a while. I love Goddess decks. Just love them. And um, I already took the plastic off. I didn't feel like fussing with it today. Anyway, um, it says, Divination, Empowerment, Connection. Ever-changing yet constant, Goddess Spirit is alive in cultures around the globe as teacher, healer, leader, and mighty protector. She is fertile maiden, nurturing mother, wise crone, and guardian of life. She is present always. Use this oracle to recognize a goddess in the world and awaken her magic within yourself. This beautifully crafted set depicts 44 goddesses and incorporates elemental chakra and lunar, lunar energy to balance your mind, body, and spirit and connect you with the mystical femininity of the moon. The arcana goddesses and the divinatory power of tarot and the septuplet and the septuplet imbue this gorgeous oracle with strength and guidance. What is this septuple? That I don't know what that is. Together, the 44 cards of Goddess Spirit Oracle could be used for insight, raising feminine power, honoring the goddesses, or personal reflection. Answer questions with the specially crafted spreads. Adorn your altar with the card of your choice and know the divine woman in your everyday. Mm, this looks like a really cool deck. I think like that picture right there is absolutely gorgeous and as you guys know I have a lot a lot a lot of decks but I think I'm just gonna start like picking a deck a day and pulling a card from one deck why am I having a hard time with this it's come on, okay um and this is what blue angel, blue angel always comes with an extra little thing I love the blue and the yellow that's really pretty I love blue and yellow anyway let's see so it's got this book it's not very thick it's kind of thin actually and it's just simple paper uh it looks okay they're numbered which is great and it has the um, it explains how to work with the deck and stuff then it's got chakra energy arcana goddesses the sept septuple septuple hmm, i'm gonna have to see what that means and lunar energy and then call to goddess spirit i wonder if that's like a prayer or something all right welcome to goddess spirit and it explains about the deck working with the deck um the cards the chakra energy the arcana the septuple all right and then there's a few spreads here which are really cool i like these they're neat and then it goes right in okay so the first few are chakra energy and they'll tell you like what it is okay so it tells you what it is here but does, i don't know if it tells you okay it doesn't tell like the earth maiden it is number one and it says root chakra but it doesn't it just says nature it doesn't say root chakra i don't know what's going on with these decks lately where they could easily have put root chakra there and they're just missing certain words i don't understand why they're doing that and then there's a um a, like an affirmation here it says i am safe that could be all put in this card here i know th that sounds like i'm complaining but it's like you don't need to use the book when they're like that and sometimes when you're doing a reading with people it's very distracting to use the book not that i haven't used the book although this one's pretty quick but it would have been just simple to do that um you know i think i need to work for one of these companies <laughs> so i could tell them how to make these decks and how to edit them and all that um I wonder what, if it says what the subtle is. I'm just septuple, strength and guidance. So septuple, they look like, all right, I was going to say it looks like it's all Greek, but it's not because Sigan is um, Norse and Ashun is West African. So, huh, let me see if this says anything what that means. Maybe I'm wasting time on that, but I feel kind of like, why is that there if there's not going to be no explanation to what it means okay it's a septuple seven is the number of the spiritual quest for strength and guidance so 
Maybe that's why sept, sept chapel was, means seven. Uh, so the seven or sept means seven. All right. Well, let's see. I wish I'd explain that. I don't think it does. So, okay. And then I know I saw, I heard, I read the thing with call. So call to God as spirit. Okay. So this is, I'm going to read this. Call to God a spirit, powerful goddesses, I honor thee with respect and gratitude. I call upon you to show me courage, support, and strength, to love and comfort me, to share your divine knowledge and wisdom with me. Guide me and show me all that I can be. With an open heart, I create a sacred space inside myself as a gift to you. I love that. Oh, that's beautiful. And there's the artist. And these cards look at me. The, the artwork does, does very much look amazing so and these different decks that they have so let's start look at the back oh my god these are gorgeous how many cards are here is it 44 i forget now 44 wow that's a thick deck for 44 and it's it's quite large but um blue angel decks tend to be large anyway you know most of them are this size box and this size cards so look at this oh so these are the chakra one so this is the root okay well you guess you can tell by the color <laughs> so okay that makes sense beautiful i love the artwork i really really do so earth maiden nature two witch passion she's beautiful i love red hair Ooh, i love this one shield maiden courage number three four healer loving counsel and of course that's the heart chakra i should have named those this is the throat chakra five storyteller expression look how beautiful oh my god gorgeous love it six seer third eye vision intuition just got the third eye right there so this one's easy and this okay so they're almost the same color like this is more a little bit more indigo, but it's almost purple. Okay. And seven spirit guide higher realms. Beautiful. Okay. Sif. Uh, free spirit fertility leap of faith number eight. Now, this goddess is uh, Thor's wife, I believe, because on the Yggdrasil car uh, deck, she is one of the char uh, characters, one of the goddesses. And I'm pretty sure Sif is uh, Thor's wife because I've just I've been reading about it. So I, I it looks like there's a bunch of different goddess archetypes in this deck. So that's really cool. Because look at Isis. Beautiful. Guy, gosh, so nice. Let's see. Number nine. Magic, manifestation, self-mastery. The artwork is stunning. And they're not shiny. They're more matte and they feel very velvety. Look at this. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Sarasvati, sacred vision essence. This this looks just like my daughter. She's got those very light eyes. Normally she had, well, her regular hair is dark. Right now it's a different color, but it reminds me so much of her. Beautiful. Beautiful. Number, oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Oh, 11. <laughs> I'm like, why is that a two there? Because I'm reading, all of a sudden I'm reading Greek numbers. Okay. Well, it looks like two eyes. If you look, doesn't look like numbers, looks like letters. All right, so number 11, Demeter, Harvest, the Divine Feminine. 12, Bastet, Independence, Protection, Boundaries, Gord. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. Oh, I love Danu. 13, Spiritual Learning, Ascension. I did not know Danu was in this deck. I actually, I love, love Danu so much. Oh, gorgeous. I did not know that she was in this deck. Oh, love her. Number 14, Kuan Yin, love, compassion, unity. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. Oh, Freya. Love Freya. How can you not love a goddess that rides a chariot with cats, uh, ridden by cats? I, how can you not? Driven by cats, I should say. 15, Freya, Warrior, Your Power, Determination. The artwork is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, 16, Segment, Strength, Self-Awareness. I mean, these are all like 
watercolors and pencil, like with pencil drawing that look like they're amazing. Um, number 17, N Nematona, Serenity, Meditation, Solitude. I've never heard of her, but she looks beautiful. Fortuna, she is Roman, I believe. 18, Change, Fortune, Outlook. Ma'at, Justice, Balance, Fairness, number 19. Beautiful. 20, Persephone, Introspection, Limbo. Love her. Oh, Hell. Another one that I admire. Hell, Rebirth, Dark and Light, number 21. Coventina, Clarity, Emotions, Harmony, number 22. Ooh, look at this Kali. She is fierce. Love her. Kali, 23, The Release of Limiting Beliefs, Transformation. I love it. Oya, Storms, Meaningful Destruction, number 24. Another one that's gorgeous. I think we're going to have storms today. Honestly, I'm usually really afraid of lightning storms. I'm kind of looking forward to them this year. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, 25. Tara. Hope. Star. Renewed purpose. Gorgeous. <gasps> Look at She's got an eye in her hand and she's got her third eye there. Such a cool, cool painting. Uh, 26. Change O. Um, the Moon, Dreams, and Mysteries. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name. Change O. Change O. Amaterasu, the sun, good fortune, happiness, 27, beautiful. There's so many different um, goddesses here from all over. It's very diverse. I love it. 28, Liber Libertas, awakening, liberation. 29, Gaia, look how gorgeous. Oh, completion, the earth, success. 30, Nike, triumph, mastery, pride. I know it's not an elf, but the ear, it looks like elf ears right here and over here. <laughs> so she's really our fairy. Really, really cute. I love it. Okay. Scotty, authenticity, truth, honesty. She loves skiing. She's a winter goddess. 31 from the Norse. Abnoba, wilderness, wild woman, wilding, 32. Wow. She had she looks like she takes no prisoners. Sigin, loyalty, support, devotion. She is, number 33, she is the wife of Loki. And in the North mythology, as I remember it, and I may make a mistake here, but it's in the North Norse mythology, Loki is nothing but a troublemaker. And he somehow got Odin's son killed, I believe. And then... He had to go before the, the council of the gods and they punished him. And the punishment was to be in the, this dragon's, a dragon, the snake's uh, cave tied up. And something about the snake, um, she, he, the venom or it drips acid. So Sigin, being his wife who loved him very much, would hold the bowl there, but every time she had to move the bowl for whatever reason, the acid would fall, I think, on his eyes uh, and burn him. So it's that's one of the stories. It's and I I'm just paraphrasing here, but that's it's so sad because I kind of like Loki. He is a troublemaker, but I kind of like Loki. You know, and it's not from watching movies or anything. I just it's a book that I read that's pretty true to the Norse mythology. I forget what it's called now, and it's he's endearing in some ways you know he's trouble and causes all kinds of trouble but he is endearing okay never mind 34 athena strategy clarity intellect oshun how beautiful oh sweet water sensuality pleasure i love oshun i don't know much about her i do know she carries around a mirror and she's all about you know being the queen i i do love her she's very sensual Ostara, 36, Fruition, Ease, Relaxation. The artwork is truly, truly amazing. I absolutely love this Hecate. I love it. Crossroads, The Mystic, Discovery. 
and she is the goddess of witches now these have moon symbols okay so this must be a, the last section because i know there's a different section and this has moon symbols the other ones don't as far as i can see no all right i just happened to notice that that's the new moon there i love this so much aaron hot Ar i think i'm saying this wrong Arian Urhad, 38, Intention Setting a Destiny, and that's the Waxing Moon. Yeah, the Waxing Moon. And I know there's different phases of the Waxing Moon. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Not right now. Diana, number 39, Action, Focused Intent. Rhiannon, the Muse, Creative Ex Inspiration. Here's the Full Moon, Celine, who is very much... Um, associated with the moon abundance and romance 41 oh 42 the morgan here's another one that i absolutely love oh my god i love this card release permission to rest really i oh my god i love this what a stunning morgan card absolutely stunning love it love it oh i've got to read on that one absolutely stunning ix chow healing magic restoration 43 and 44 carried when wisdom ban and banishment i oh, i love that one too but i adore this card and then i'm going to grab danu too because danu and the morgan kind of go together because danu is thought to be the morgan's mother she is the mother of the tuaha the nanan i believe i do like i do love did I already pass it? I do love Danu. No, she, here she is, number 13. Love her. Oh, I love these two. Love them. All right. So we got 13 and 40. Oh, my God. They're so beautiful. I would buy these as prints. Here we go. Howie's losing his mind. Hold on. Let's see if we can be quiet. All right. I have to pause it there for a minute. Okay. The car goes by that he doesn't like the sound. He goes, cuckoo, cut shoe. Oh my god, I love these. I would I would definitely buy these prints. They oh, they're so beautiful. Love them. All right, the new is number 13. Okay, here we go. Oh, so this are they all hold on a second. All right. So these few cards, is it 22 of them? Hold on a second here. 22, 23, 25. Okay, there are some that are, uh, that are uh, connected to... Okay, so there's 26 cards that are connected to the tarot. And Danu is the Hierophant. Pantheon is Celtic, Irish spiritual learning ascension danu is said to be the oldest of the celtic deities from pre-gaelic times of ancient earth-based spirituality the tuaha dananans the children of the new followed her as their creator mother goddess the essence of divine knowledge she teaches our oneness with divine source and the power to create the life we desire and fully connect with our soul our truth is always expanding you are tuning into your wholeness how do you wish to explore your spiritual self as you expand so does your higher higher being and the collective this is the affirmation here my divine self is ever expanding with love oh i love it i love it that's the affirmation i wish that was on the card so like they put this um border here which is really pretty i actually do like it I wish they had taken that out and just put all this other stuff that they could have easily put in there, like the Pantheon, uh, spiritual learning, uh, the tarot. They could have put all of this and especially this uh, affirmation. But they didn't, and that is what it is. I'm not complaining, though. I love this deck. This deck is beautiful. I, I love the artwork. Oh, my God. I love it. Number 42. She is also part of the Celtic um, Pantheon. She is the daughter of, um, of, she's thought to be the daughter of Danu, but you know, there are different myths, I'm assuming. So, okay. 
So this one is connected with the moon, so it's more the Morgan. And actually, it says Morgan. I, I believe it should say the Morgan. I really do. Okay, so waning gibbous, moon, Panth pantheon, Celtic, Irish, release, permission to rest. Morrigan, the dark goddess of war, is a shapeshifter. She assumes the form of a crow and flies over battlefields, using her magic to bring fear or courage to soldiers, thus determining the outcome of battles. The Morrigan is inspirational to many witches as she brings strength and independence. As the gibbous moon wanes, you have more clarity on what has or has not manifested. For better or worse, release that which no one uh, would release that which no longer serves. It is time to go meditate on letting go. I release and let go, allowing my body, spirit, and mind mind time to rest. Ugh, I sort of need that right now. Isn't that beautiful? I, I absolutely love these two cards. They are stunning. And I do love the, um, um keywords and the, the 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 stuff that's written in the book oh my god i can't think i love that let's see if we can find a different one because this is kind of quick let's see um let's do earth maiden because that's the sacral chakra no the root chakra hello <laughs> So it is the root chakra and the uh, key word is nature. Spend time with nature for this is your world, your home. Walk, sit, dance, play outside, listen to her sounds, the bird song, the wind. Watch the clouds moving. Enjoy the sun on your body. Slow down and enjoy your day. Nature is the perfect place to ground yourself, to become centered. The root chakra is your base. It is the primary point of balance between the, between the above and above and below an unbalanced or unattended root chakra can affect every aspect of your life when it is balanced active clear and functioning well you feel safe grounded supported and at ease with yourself and the affirmation is i am safe all right i love these cards they are absolutely stunning the book is not there's not a lot of t there's not a lot of stuff in it it's pretty quick so if you needed to use the book, it'd be pretty simple. Um, and the artwork is, honestly, I'm amazed, especially these two cards. I think they're absolutely stunning, gorgeous. But all of them, they're beautiful. I didn't see one that I would say, ooh, I didn't like it. I think they're all gorgeous. All right, you guys, I love this deck. Go out and get it. I will put the link to magic.com. Um, but you can get it on Amazon. It's just, for me, it was just cheaper to get it there. All right, guys, blessings and thank you. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Have a great day wherever you are. Take care.